One of the things that always fascinates me about this time of the year is tryout season, draft season, you know, all these different things are going on, is the comparison game. Right? I always see players are always comparing themselves to other players. I can't believe this player got drafted. Right? I'm just as good as that player. Or I can't believe this player made that team. I'm just as good as that player. Right? It's, it's in the mind of the illusion that happens with players is that they feel they're as good as that player. And that's one thing I'm always shocked at. As an example, I had one of my players the other day, went through a tryout and didn't understand how some of the other players made it and was trying out for this team and you know, ended up getting cut and was shocked at other players that ended up being able to make the better team. And was, was floored and didn't understand. I, I doesn't make sense to me. I'm just as good as those other players. And you know, we start going through the checklist. I start taking my player through and understanding, okay, well, let's go through the things that we know you're supposed to be doing, right? So you have a good shot. How many times do you, you know, release your shot? Well, a couple of times. Okay, well, you're a pretty good passer. How many times were you able to make plays with the puck? Well, not too often. All right, well, you're, you know you're supposed to play physical. How many times did you hit a player? How many times did you go through? Uh, not too many times. So as we start going down this checklist of performance cues, right, these are the facts of your performance. Facts of your performance. The same way when these players go and complain about not getting drafted, it's the same exact breakdown. There are facts, there are stats to prove how good you really are. There are facts to prove when you actually watch how you perform in a game to see the amount of execution you created. These are facts, ladies and gentlemen. Players, these are facts. I watch you, I see you do something. You had 10 opportunities to do something, you only did it two times. That doesn't appeal to me. Right? I see you do it eight, nine, ten times. Oh, now we're talking. Now you're speaking my language when it comes to performance and seeing that, you know what? You have value to my team. Right? Just like in season, you have a chance to prove with the points. Right? I see players that all the time comparing themselves to players. You know, I had one player who was comparing himself to, well, I can't believe this kid got drafted. And I'm like, well, have you seen his stats over the last three years? This kid was the leading scorer on his team. What were your stats? Your stats weren't even close to those stats. But you want to compare yourself to that kid getting drafted? And this is the part that I always love pointing out to our players. And, and this is a part that inside the culture that players have to always understand. It's nice to want things. It's nice to believe that you are better than these other players. But the facts are the facts. When these players put up points, when these players make plays, when these players do things consistently to show their performance, that's why they're getting the things that they're getting. And the other thing on top of it, with all the guys that we have, and I'm fortunate, and I always talk about this, of that dealing with a lot of these high-end guys, they all work like dogs to get to where they are. That's the hidden secret, ladies and gentlemen, right? The secret, the secret sauce, it takes work. These kids didn't get there to that point just because they were nice kids, or just because, I always love this one, oh, politically, this kid is tied into somebody. Politics, get it out of your head. That's a bunch of bullshit that you're getting sold on. At the end of the day, if you're talking about playing at the highest levels, it, politics has nothing to do with it. It's performance. Can I trust that you're going to do the job? When I see parents talking about, yeah, politics is going in other places, but when it comes to the best of the best, there are no politics. When you're talking about NCAA, Division Three, Division One, all that stuff, what are you kidding me? You have to perform. When it comes to being a pro, you have to perform. When it comes to major junior, level, you have to perform. Perform. And that's the part that players need to objectively look at themselves and say, Am I performing consistently? Am I doing the habits that I know are me? And if I'm not doing that, then I have to look at myself in the mirror and ask myself that question and say, am I doing the work or am I gonna keep on comparing myself to everybody else that I believe I'm as good as, even though I have nothing to prove to show it? Prove it. If you're that good, prove it. Instead of worrying about others and worrying about that woe is me, prove by showing us the facts.